It's time for DIY, and of course, we've got Oyi Onorinde of Ewa Hair right here with us. Today, she will be showing us some natural methods uh, to care for our face, of course, using natural products. Uh, good to have you in the studio with us today. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we've got our model here. Right. How exactly are you going to teach us to care for our faces naturally? Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the coffee face mask coffee face mask right okay. so we're going to be talking about the coffee face mask and you know everybody knows coffee you know it's a very common booster you know that everybody likes to take in the morning mm -hmm. and what a lot of people don't know is that coffee is very beneficial for the skin you know it's an antioxidant it's a very good um it has um exfoliating properties you know there are so many things that the coffee can do for the body and for the skin and all of that so today we are going to we're going to be doing a very simple fake coffee face mask that you can do in two minutes okay. and it is highly beneficial for your face and for your skin okay so let's get started what, what right. do we require okay so we require coffee okay of course of course <laughs> What is this on the side? Okay, this is um, natural yogurt. This is Greek yogurt. It has no sugar. You use Greek yogurt. <laughs> I'm beginning to think. Yes, okay. I love. Okay, let me not say it because it's going to happen. Right. If I right. say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is natural yogurt. Okay. Like I always say, yogurt is very, very beneficial for the skin. Okay. It has a lot of proteins. It has lactic acid, you know, that helps break um, that helps break down dead skin cells in the body. And also I have my coffee. Coffee is a very good antioxidant. I also have my honey my natural honey in here so, so how, be, how much honey is there one um yes this is about one teaspoon. one teaspoon of honey teaspoon, okay in this plastic okay so i'm gonna be adding let me help you That's thank you sure. i'm gonna be adding about two teaspoons this is your teaspoon okay. so i'll add two teaspoons of yogurt into my honey okay okay and i will add one two teaspoons of my coffee, coffee. okay into this mixture it smells amazing already right wow. <laughs> so we're going to be mixing this together okay and our face mask is good to go just like that just like that okay right so so are you going to be needing this yes i'm going to be needing that okay let me so, help you with that thank you there you go so i have my coffee mixture in here mm -hmm. less than two minutes okay. and i apply on my face okay. on a face rather okay Sorry. So running through it again, um, she made use of two teaspoons of coffee, right. two teaspoons of uh, yogurt, and of course uh, one, one teaspoon, teaspoon of honey. honey. All right. right, so pretty, pretty simple, pretty simple. straightforward. So I'm applying on, on the whole face, okay. and I leave on my face okay. for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yes, okay. for about 20 minutes, and I let this soak inside my skin. But could you turn your face this way so we see? Yes. Yeah. So I apply all over the skin okay. and I let it stay in here for 20 minutes okay. and then I rinse off with warm water okay. and of course a very clean um, cloth mm. and then you are good to go with this. Okay. Yeah. Are there other uses for this particular mixture of honey, yogurt and, um, and um, coffee? I okay. ask because maybe I can also extend it to my scalp. Would it help anything or would it make my hair dry? No, well, this is actually for the face, and okay. this is an exfoliating mixture. So, like, you know, you know, if you, if you, everybody has, like, dead skin, you know, due to the weather, yeah. we are all exposed to sun, you know, we are all exposed to um, smoke and all of that. Yeah. So, you need to exfoliate your face from time to time, yeah. you know, just a way to, like, take off the dead skin out of your face so this is actually perfect for this but i could also use my coffee and you know some maybe like turmeric and some other mixture okay. you know if i'm trying to achieve something else if i want to glow so that would be best for you know, if i want to brighten up my face that would be best for you know for such purposes okay. but this is best for exfoliating just for exfoliating. just for exfoliating. especially if you if you if you have a very oily face okay. so this really works wonders if your face is very oily and even if you don't have oily face okay. this mixture we apply is, more okay this mixture is actually good for all types of skin okay. if you're fair if you're light i mean it's just natural this is organic 
this is natural for all kinds of skin. It's best for all kinds of skin, yeah. you know. Now, you mentioned um, sweetened yogurt, uh, unsweetened, unsweetened earlier. Yes. Is it okay if I use sweetened? Um, Would I it think... affect what the end result? Say, for example, I already have uh, sweetened yogurt at home before right. this came up. Right. So, can I make use of it? Well, I will advise you use the unsweetened okay. because, you know, the unsweetened actually has better, you know, um, better ingredients, you know, for this purpose. So it's better to use the unsweetened compared to the sweetened. Okay. Yeah, but you could use that, but it might not really give you that, you know, that tough exfoliating effect okay. at the end of the day. So that's why it's better to use the unsweetened. Okay. So when I'm washing it off, do I use um, soap or just warm water? Just use warm water. Don't, Don't use, use soap. soap. Yes, just okay. use warm water on your face. And then you will actually, if, you, if your face is actually prone to acne, this, you know, mixture is actually good for people that their skin is prone to acne. So this will, you know, help to take off all the dead, you know, pimples, all the dead, you know, dead things on your face and then keeps your face fresh and clean. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, so using the, the, the coffee in particular. Now, I'm yeah. very curious about um, the coffee. Should right. there be a particular type of coffee or it can be just about any coffee? Well, it could, it could be about any coffee. I mean, your natural coffee and then, you know, it has to be a grounded coffee. So it can be, you know, the way it is in the natural state. It has to be grounded. You know, it could be roasted, you know, whatever. You know, there are different, you know, brands out there. They are medium roast. They are dark roast. I mean, you could, all of them still has caffeine. That's the most important thing. So the most important thing that we are looking out for in this ingredient is the caffeine. You know, because the caffeine, you know, does a lot of antioxidants. It does a lot of exfoliating. It takes out all the dead skin cells, acne, pimples. You know, I, I even even read from you know from a study that um, coffee actually helps to reduce skin cancer. Wow! See, there's right. a lot you can benefit from coffee, as you've learned today. And at this point, I must say a very big thank you to all you on Orange Day. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. This has been really interesting, and I'm definitely putting it to practice this week. Thank and you. talking about uh, putting to practice. Uh,